And we're back. I want you to guess what happened. It's happened during the last several death battles that I've recorded, and it's why they're always in multiple parts. There's something about XSplit that makes my computer crash, and it's recent. Okay, so let's go through all of this. Okay, we're about this part. This giant building piece in place. What even is that? Likely some sort of antenna, but it also resembles the mooring mast atop the Empire State Building. Back and when I everybody thought say... Zeppelins were the hot new thing, because who does it? This shot. I was gonna say, I'm like 90% sure that that's from Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow, which is a highly underrated movie. I think everyone just got pissed because Angelina Jolie was used in all the posters and the advertising material of her character only appears for like five minutes. But... Riding a giant flammable balloon full of explosive gas. Sign me up! Assuming it's composed of Actually, steel accidents and were very rare. size compared to the Spider-Man on the roof, then comparing the Empire State Building's mooring mast, this should weigh, at most, 200... So basically, McGill's a badass, and he Lifted it in the me most way possible. After rebuilding the world with Captain America, Miguel inherited the most legendary weapon of them all, Mjolnir. Although nice. the first didn't actually grant him its warrior powers, Miguel didn't use it as a weapon, but oh, as proof hey. of his authority. Then it's a not. literal symbol of the societal weight he alone could carry. With his dominance Interesting. Asserted, Miguel created the utopian future a person could only dream of. And you thought the Peter Parker was cool. Been this Spider-Man is at the top. Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man of the year 2099. That's me, ready to save the universe and looking good while doing it. Oh, so he has an attitude to it. All right, the combatants are also, set. Was Let's that an image of Black Cat in the background? But first, the future no, is no, but now first. in the form no, of but first. We are going to skip all of this bullshit. Okay, so, um, the issue is, Bruce cannot help Terry. Because that is, uh, having a backup. It's having assistance. <sighs> and there's nobody, consequently, to give Miggy <laughs> his backup. So, <coughs> pardon. Uh, and I think that's going to be a big thing. Um, Terry's suit is highly adapted to a great deal of combat situations in the field. Like, if he came across a problem that he couldn't get through, they would modify the suit to aid with that. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm super tired. I don't know what's going on. Just like all of a sudden. Anyway, um... Good. Terry seems stronger and faster, but Miguel seems considerably smarter. And more uh, able to adapt to the things going on around him. Um, because Terry has to do so after the fact. So, I don't know. I mean, I want to go Terry, but that's my Batman bias. So, might as well. Let's say Maple Story. Look at this. Keep an eye out. I've been seeing some odd reports regarding this part of the city. <sighs> huh. Uh -oh. So is he gonna be able to help? Hey, Bozo! I was brooding there. <laughs> Who the shock are you? Terry hardly broods, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Miguel, 
they both have backup. I can't identify his tech or fighting style. But one of them is a person. But I can try. I mean, I suit. The other is the AI, though. Does it really help? He's too comfortable in the air. Try a different approach. Get to ground level. Okay. I can't move. Triple weight bolus. I don't understand that they're triple weight. Is there a standard weight for them? Oh, yeah. Bye bye, someone's car. Someone's vintage car, no less. A new friend, no doubt. How's the hack going? A little fast. Finish this quick. No problem. Can my fangs pierce his suit? I think so. Then I'll finish this myself. Oh, yeah, and the claws. They could. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Problem solved. I guess that's one way to do it. KO! Ah, I'll never get tired of seeing people blow up. That was a it's really such a blast. Metal. Thanks to Bruce's counsel, Terry used his flashbang to take advantage of Miguel's sensitive eyesight and his electric shock that can short out large machinery to deal with Lila. Yeah, unlike ah. Bruce, the poor girl wasn't really built for combat. And while her hacking skills were top notch, the isolated bat cave had the defenses to hold her off. Even still, early nineties computer game out Miguel's in more ways than one. When it came to maneuverability and durability, they were mostly even. Both could dodge bullets and weave through the air. Both could survive heavy ballistic hits. But unlike Terry, Miguel's never outraced anything faster than a Mark 19 ballistic missile. Ah. For physical strength, Terry had him beat too. Recall that boulder. Like I said, stronger. Run. This took place in Superman's Fortress of Solitude near the Arctic. So the boulder was Ooh. likely composed of sedimentary dark limestone, the most common rock type around that location. Neat. So we compared Terry's height to the boulder, applied the density for limestone, and subtracted the weight reduced by underwater buoyancy PX. to find the boulder's weight to be 192 tons. Nice. Just decide like it was nothing. Terry's peak strength in the bat suit has to be more than two. My question tons. is, is she alive? He was under that tenor. thing. His best strength feat we know of is at max 100 tons. But he's a Spider-Man. Spider-Man can lift more than that, right? Not Most Spider-Man. Technically, Miguel's powers are so different from Peter's that we shouldn't really scale him to other Spider-Man. But for the benefit of the doubt, let's do it anyway. We'll check out two of Spider-Man's most impressive strength feats. The first is the time he braced a private jet while it was landing. Look at him! He's literally the landing gear! According to nice, Spider-Man nice. himself, the plane's total weight was at most 115,000 pounds. Adding the thrust from a Whittle W1 engine, which this small jet is most likely to have an engine comparable to, this feat comes out to 58 tons. Not even close to Terry's right. 200. Then there was this one time where Spidey had to push way past his limits to oh, look not the, the uh, compared to as a locomotive. Thing? Since he could measure the plane, it's likely he's accurate here. But given the that's time period, that's still thing. only 130 tons at most. It's clear that's Terry had a pretty sizable physical advantage. And just because Terry's mind wasn't as fine-tuned as the original Batman's didn't mean he's dumb. Even more, Miguel never trained what, he like an otter Terry student? did. Hell, he never really had much formal training at all. But Terry was trained by ninjas, stealth artists, and other crime fighters to be a master in the battlefield. And since Miguel didn't have a I put sense, it to you that Terry that didn't even reach over his the shoulder. Trained future Spidey left an opening. In short, while Miguel wasn't yeah, completely outmatched, big opening. Strength, it is just equipment and training oh, won the bout. Turns out this Batman was beyond him. The winner <laughs> is Batman Beyond. I love the man with the groaners. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. And if you want to watch exclusive that. commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. I'll try to grab one of these shirts, too. Oh. Kefka. Oh, shit! comes down you bring up 
any Final Fantasy match, and I make sure you get the occasional, you know, Cloud vs. Squall, or possibly Cloud vs. Lightning, just because they look exactly alike, but no, the biggest battle that people in the Final Fantasy fandom want to see is Kefka vs. Sephiroth, that is the battle that it always comes down to. Oh, Virgil! Oh, crap, daddies. <sighs> Why do you build me up, build me up, babe? A buttercup, baby, just to let me down. And turn me around and say, worst of all, you never do the death battle we all want. But it's true. More than anyone, darling, telling you right from the heart. Why do you build me up? Death battle, don't break my heart. Well, I mean, it's too late for that. But, you know, they have, they have returning combatants, right? Right? Death battle, baby, just to let me down. <laughs> well, the battle was won in part due to photosensitivity, which I can totally understand. Um, I believe Animal Crossing put it best. It's like uh, bright lights are like lasers shooting into your brain. Yes, that is, a, that is something from Animal Crossing. From uh, New Leaf specifically. Virgil! Oh, the only Virgil I wanted to see in a death battle is Virgil Hawkins, a.k.a. Static. He puts a shock to your system, as one does. It's another DCAU. Funny story about this hat. I got it. It's six, six flags. Remember, I'm doing this backwards. Batman the Ride, uh, we went there in a uh, high school field trip for the physics class. Uh, this is when I lived in Indiana, so it wasn't that far, it was just to Illinois. Um, we, yeah, um, I went all over the place, um, got in line for the ride, and I kept looking at it. Because it's a roller coaster. I kept looking at it in the line and I was like... I ain't doing this. So I just went to the gift shop and got myself a hat. Then later on I ran into a teacher's aide and she was like, Where's your partner? And I'm like, I don't have one. You never said we needed one. I swear on everything they did not actually say we needed one. So she decided that she was going to follow me around the entire time. Which is no fun, as, as one can attest. Uh, and so I went on the spinning cups so many times just because it made her stand there off to the side not doing anything. I wanted to bore her away from me. Anyway, Virgil! No, that is not what you do! You set the one-winged angel against the god of destruction, not against some... Sword wielding half demon. <sighs> when are we going to hear that glorious 16 bit laughter on this show? <clears throat> <laughs> Retroactive headphone user warning.